Uh, yeah. Um, ok, jeg kan jeg like starte der. Uh, let's see. What the hell was I doing? Yeah, so we're gonna... Oh yeah, we're gonna just make this uh, load into here. So it's actually pretty simple, guys. Uh, let me take a look here. So use another function. We could technically bind this one now to here though. Uh, so after here the police is coming. Uh, push uh, button. Dot collect. Dot connect. Uh, see if uh, I always use double check because there's been so many times where I use like code like control feed like a billion code and it's like. You can use control C it but still. Uh, self dot um, so let's see self dot this is just simple collect. So we're just gonna you know connect that uh, function to the push button. And now when we click that button, this will execute. Pretty simple. Uh, we do know that uh, but we're gonna have to make the other database no not the other database, we need to make the other um, Okay, function. Uh, define this one would do. Would this one would load data, upload data, upload data. So uh, we're gonna want to connect to that one too. Con equal SQLite three. Dot connect. Uh, Simple data. Wait. Simple data. So you kind of just want to do this same. Thing. I like to do do this a lot. Um, like I like continuously doing it. You could technically do it here in the top, I guess. But then, I believe you would be connected to the database every time you had the windows open. So if you would do it on multiple. On multiple computers it wouldn't really work but if you do it in every single one of your function I personally believe that you should be able to use this like a program like this on like multiple different tablets or computers uh, but then again I have no idea uh, but that's just my theory uh, <coughs> so we're gonna upload here so uh, let's see we're gonna want all the information from the table where the other information is in so we're gonna want all this information, right, to come to us. Uh, so technically, we I guess we could do result Actually, this is what this is just because this is what I've memorized basically. I don't like this, and I could probably make this code better for this exact same uh, f uh, for loop, but it's just kind of the one that I have. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I have memorized, and therefore I'm kind of sticking with it. So. It's, Bear with me, it's not the best way of doing this. Uh, um, like seriously, you could just do C dot execute, select all from, uh, or like you could literally do result equals C dot execute, select all from a simple info, just like I did over here. But you do select all, just like I did over here. I'm push pushing my screen right now with my finger. <laughs> uh, usually like you did over here, see that execute insert into right there, you could just do technically I guess result equals c dot execute you know select all from simple info and you would you would get the same thing so honestly I don't really know why I do that but it's just something that I did uh, in the beginning uh, which when I started coding which was like three months ago but I'm still it's just something that I've got used to do. Uh, so table widget set. We're gonna do row count. Um, set row count. S 
say row for row on like number row row on the like data in in rain result uh, result sale let's see table widget dot insert row row on the like number oh, shit wait is this correct insert row on the number uh, I really don't like doing this. I've copied and pasted this for a long time too, so this is not. I don't really remember what I'm doing. What the fuck now? Uh, like row number. I, this one should not have that. For example, uh, for column number data in enumerate. Row on like data self dot table widget set item um, is do row number column number right column number Let me see here, I got everything here. I did this before. Low data, cure coffee, self table, we just said row count. Yeah, I think I got it. I see usually I usually copy and paste these to be honest, but I guess I picked it up somehow. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if there's a better way of doing this when you do it with QT Designer, but I don't think so. I don't maybe, maybe, but <laughs> But I don't think so. It's you're gonna sh I, you're gonna see it when you kind of like when I show it on the actual program that it's really easy coding for to get the results you get. To be honest, it's like it's really it's 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 a really simple type of code. Uh, so yeah, I got that there. Yeah, to have more. Oh yeah, I do have the database handlers. I am gonna have to make a create a database too, but that I'm just gonna copy and paste and show you because it's actually really uh, easy. So let me just check here. I think this is all we need. Those are the two we need. Simple as that. That's literally how simple it is. It's absurd. So see here. Self uh, dot push button dot clicked dot connect. Self dot up data oh, go back here to two second one because otherwise you're gonna just it's just gonna be chaos uh, yeah and then yes to be able to start it wait actually it's not yes this simple so I'm gonna save here simple show <coughs> oh, wait simple show no, 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 okay, yeah, this is not the one we were doing. Uh, what the hell? We were in YouTube videos. We're doing QT program. Yeah, we ain't got nothing here. We should have you. Oh, we got, well, okay, well, we don't have any Python, uh, Python uh, code. So we're gonna do here. Uh, 
what are we gonna name it? We're gonna name it as much as what is it? Just simple page. Then, if the UI is, um, then always do dot pi afterwards. I it's just easier. Uh, simple page like that. Simple UI program. There's some things we haven't done though. We're gonna have to go to CMD here. Command prompt. Uh, because we have this UI here, right? We do, but this UI we can't really read right now. We maybe we could actually like it's been both yeses and no. Uh, I've had troubles with it, and sometimes I've had. So this is the this is literally the um, coding we use done. So let me, yeah, you see, I get some sort of error here. Expected. Okay. Oh. I just copied and pasted this before. This is what you need to execute. I was gonna go over this later on. You, but this is kind of what you need to execute the actual file in, you know, to make it show up. Um, it's pretty simple. This is basically just what you can do. You can lead it on later on when you have like login. When you have like a login page, you can lead it on to another page uh, or to another UI uh, or class. You have two different classes in the same document, basically. Um, but this is just very simple for you to start with. So, um, what the app you go? What the hell in the team? Oh, is it gonna move up? Here, let me. Just me. Is this all getting on video? This is so annoying. But oh my god, name simple class is not the final. Oh yeah, I renamed simple program. This is what you get for copying the page. I should have probably called it simple class. That's usually what I do, but whatever. <laughs> Are you joking me, bro? Okay, yeah, no, but I understand why it doesn't work now. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you right now, how to fix. So that was good for us. So I, I started this one here, right, right? Uh, so we're going to go to QT program, uh, where we have all our stuff. So this is pretty much how our base looks right now. So, you know, it's not really anything here. We have this saved. We do have the our coding saved, okay, right? So we're going to go here, we're going to do... No, nope, we're not going to do that, Max. But we're going to do this. We're going to CD. It's very important. CD is mucho importante. Uh, then we, when we're here, we're going to do... So this is Pi UIC5. I don't remember if I pip installed this, but I think I did. So you would do pip install Pi UIC5. Uh, and you should uh, be able to get it. You need this. Uh, you need the pip. You need that. Uh, and then you just do simple UI page dot UI right to simple UI. This is what I like to do because I do not want to mix these up. Code simple UI code dot pi. And you should create it. Your name, a deal. And now let me show you here. So now we're gonna open file. So now we have simple UI code here, right? We didn't have that a second ago. Magic. So we're going to go in here. And here is basically everything that we've done in Qt Designer. You see our transparent border bottom. So this is pretty much how you would just code it. Um, if you coded it by yourself and didn't use, you know, Qt Designer. So you could technically use code it this if you want to. Uh, it's annoying. Um, I don't like doing it. Probably wouldn't even be able to do it. Uh, just on freehand right now. Honestly. Um, at least not as good as this looks. Uh, but you just need to keep this one. 
in your phone. You never you just open it once, you never have to see it again. I think we should be able to open this program up now. No, why not? Simple UI page because I put UI program here. And that's not what we named it. Here we go. Boom. Thank you. So here we go. We can open it up. Uh, I did Sublime Text 3. Just Control B to open it up. I don't know what the, the other programs are. Pilot, uh, PyCharm, I think, have in the right corner somewhere where you play it or something. So you should be able to play your, your, your code right now. And actually, you're not going to be able to see anything here right now, though. Um, because I haven't created a table yet for our database. And I'm going to do that. Uh, let me just check how long this video is. Uh, where do we even see that in this? Like, this is the thing. I have never, guys. Um, I have never recorded a video before. So, like, bear with me. And as I said earlier in the video, I am a... Well, I am in the stage that I want to be when I code. Let's just say that. Um, uh, but let's see here. So, this one is about 16 minutes. The other one was about 12. I don't even know. Um... Yeah, I think when I do one, uh, I'm gonna probably cut it right here then, just for like the sake of the you guys that you could skip it if you want to, um, or like what I'm saying is like you could watch it and then come back for the other one next time. Uh, so I'm gonna stop it here and I'm just gonna start the other one in just about a couple of seconds. So I see you in a couple of seconds, guys.